Good morning, Chicka Pies. How we doing? How we feeling? So I've been missing in action for like the last two days, I think, Monday, well, three days, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And I do apologize. Um, honestly, guys, I just, I was sick. I was um, not feeling well. Um, I don't even know, like, it's like, where do I even begin? Like, um, you guys know I'm dealing with this whole menopausal thing and I'm still trying to figure all of this out. Um, for some reason, I um, I just, I was trying to start my monthly and I, and I highlight the word trying because this is the first month this has ever happened to me where it didn't actually really truly come and um, but my body I guess was confused because it was I think I all of a sudden had all these symptoms that just hit me and I could not shake it I was just like oh my god what's going on with me my blood pressure even went up and um, my sinuses started to act up which my sinuses have been on the verge of acting up for like the last like couple I want to say like a couple of months to be honest with myself and um, because of that that part's my own fault because I get stubborn sometimes I don't want to take medicine I get tired of like you know even like the all-natural stuff I'm just like oh my god I feel like I'm taking stuff every single day of my life like I don't know it's like that's part of that I don't know and I, I can't chalk it up to being getting older because we should be taking that kind of stuff even when we're 20 you know but um, I just get like rebellious and I'm just like huh and I was feeling fine so I was just like I'm feeling fine I don't need to take any crap I'm just gonna be all right like you know and then I thought about like if I get immune to it and then my body just like you know um, then it won't work so I had all these thoughts running in my head so I stopped taking my sinus medicine and um, I could tell that it was brewing and honestly I'm almost wanting to think I almost have a sinus infection I really I, I just I'm like if it doesn't get better, I'm going to probably have to go to the doctor and see, which I'm, I'm like, oh my God, I'm getting ready to go on a flight and that will make it even worse. So I don't know. I'm going to see what happens if I take my medicine for the next, um, over the weekend. If not, then I'll make a doctor's appointment and go to the doctor like on Monday or Tuesday and see if, um, to just to kind of make sure what's going on with me. But, um, yeah, so I've just had like a bad go of things like seriously like um when my when my sinuses act up my blood pressure goes up um it's just like a i have like the snowball effect of things just falling apart on my body like it's just like so um it's just been rough for the last three days i guess like yeah three days yeah um i feel better today than i have in like the last three days honestly but i still don't feel great like i honestly feel like right now i would much rather be at home in my bed sleeping um just not being bothered by anybody honestly i just want to lay my head down and rest and um yeah so that's what's going on with me so i do apologize that i haven't vlogged um <clears throat> yeah so i have been posted on instagram um i posted I think like a couple times on Instagram I don't even know like seriously but if you guys don't follow me on Instagram please do because when I don't vlog I tend to post on Instagram more if I vlog I post on Instagram less like um that's just my messed up life I guess like I can't keep I can't do both at the same time so yeah so anyway um I kind of like I posted a couple things on Instagram to kind of let people know I'm still alive you know just like just a menopausal mess right now and um, yes this is the first time I've had this particular issue with my monthly so I I'm you know I'm like oh is this another one of those things that happen like you know it's like wow what else like like this whole thing is like so interesting to me like I don't get like all these different things that happen to us like and how different our bodies are like some people like I honestly don't have like major hot flashes like I get hot but I don't get like the like my friend sweat just drips off of her face and I don't know maybe because I don't sweat like I don't sweat normal like I don't I've never been a sweater so maybe that's why like maybe if you if you don't sweat as a young person like like I don't have sweat glands or something I don't know like I do have sweat glands but I, I mean don't I or do do everybody have sweat glands you have to right I don't know I don't even know how all that works but I know even back in the day when I work out with the trainer he would be like you need to sweat and I'm like dude you could literally beat the crap out of me like throw me in the desert and like I won't sweat like I just don't sweat so like I don't know does that mean I don't have sweat glands or my sweat glands 
I don't know. I don't understand all of that crap. So I don't know what the answer to that is. But anyway, I don't have like hot flashes to the point where I'm sweating, but I do have hot flashes to where I get pretty warm and I get real irritated for like a few minutes and I just feel like I'm going to kill somebody. <laughs> Good morning, thank you for choosing service. What can I get started for you today? Uh, hi, good morning. Can I have a um, venti caramel macchiato with non-fat and an extra shot? Non-fat, extra shot, okay. And also, can I have, um, let me have your um, sausage and cheddar. Sausage and cheddar sandwich, okay. Yes, uh-huh. And, oh wait, that, Smoked bacon, gluten-free smoked Canadian bacon. Oh, that looks good. You know what? Can I switch that? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Can I switch that to the um, gluten-free smoked Canadian bacon? I didn't see that until after. You don't want the sausage anymore? Yeah. No. Can I take that off and have the, the smoked bacon Canadian bacon sandwich? So you want to add uh, the sausage and the Canadian bacon sandwich? No. I'm taking off the sausage. Okay. Take, get rid of that. Don't want that at all. All right, so you want the Canadian bacon sandwich instead? Yes, ma'am. Uh, okay. Sorry about that. I didn't see it until after I ordered. I'm sorry. All right, and what else can I get for you? That's it. All right, for me, 1137. Thank you. Okay, so I'm trying a gluten free smoked Canadian bacon sandwich. Holla. <laughs> like, what's that all about? Beats the heck out of me. I don't know. Hi, good morning. How are you doing this morning? How are you? I am super fantastic this morning. Okay, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you know what? I have like the, my free drink. Uh, oh, so how do I get out of here? Let's okay. see. Free drink. Hit that, I guess. And then you need, to, I don't know what you need to do. Or do I hit the pay? What do you, okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. And how's your morning going? It's going good. It came a little early today, but so I'm a little groggier than usual. But um, hey. I'm going to Austin after work. Ooh, so, fun for fun. Uh, yes, my uh, friend lives up there. She goes to UT, so uh -huh. I'm stay with her tonight, and then we can bring her home tomorrow. Awesome. Well, you have safe fun. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Okay. Can I get a straw? Yes. You know what? Can about. I get the shorter one? I'm so sorry. I'm weird. I'm. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. Yeah, I'm. I'm flying out to Jamaica next week, and I can't wait. I'm just like Jamaica for a week, and I'm like, I'm so. I love Jamaica. If you ever ever get the opportunity to go to Jamaica, take up on it. It's a great place to go. If I have the opportunity to go anywhere. You're out of there, right? <laughs> Have a great day. Have fun in Austin. Thank you. All right. He's putting on his tie as he walk into Starbucks. Okay. Okay. So yeah. So anyway, I got a gluten-free sandwich, which, um, Honestly, you know, and I don't even, I fell into it. Like, okay, let's talk about this for a minute, how we fall into traps, y'all. Okay, so it says a gluten-free sandwich, and it's a dollar more than the other sandwiches. You want to bet? <laughs> like, everything else is probably gluten-free, too. <laughs> because, like, seriously, that we fall into the hype, and it's, like, crazy how we do that. Like, we totally fall into the hype of, like, gluten-free. And honestly, when I look at things, when I start reading, like, boxes and, like, I'm like, oh my God, this stuff has been gluten-free forever. Like it has never had gluten in it. Now, oh my God, my water bottle keeps falling over. Now, like everybody says, oh, it's gluten-free. We're gonna charge you an extra, you know, 50 cents to, to a dollar or whatever. Like it's like, why? Like seriously, like, and we fall into the hype. And cause I so just did. Well, honestly, I was just like, I don't know. I was just like, I wanna try it. Like, I don't know why, but I wanna see what it, if it tastes any different, probably not. Huh? So anyhow, that's that's 
yeah, whatever. Um, totally blame my uh, radical thinking on that because that's all that was. So yeah, so anyway, hey, I, my friend didn't call me this morning. I'm upset. And I got myself a Vente Camera Macchiato, my free one. So I really kind of needed to go ahead and do that. I hadn't done that yet. And like, um, I don't know, do they expire? Like, do they disappear after a while? I don't know if they do or not, but I don't want to take any chances. Because it's been a while since I had gotten one. Like, since I had utilized my... I mean, I had it for a while, like, you know what I mean? So... And I got my golden free sandwich here that I can't wait to see how yummy yeah, it tastes. It probably tastes like everything else. But yeah, so anyhow, that's what's going on with me. I, I feel like right now, like honestly, I almost feel normal. <laughs> I almost feel normal right about now, but it'll happen like just like that. Like I'm serious, y'all. But this has been a doozy for me. Um, I'm learning my body. I'm trying to get adjusted to my body. Um, I did... Um, I've picked up a couple new things since I've talked to you guys in reference to like this whole like life itself. Um, I have this powder stuff that I want to kind of like start taking, but um, I paid forty dollars for it. And then there's a part of me that thinks like I should just go ahead and take it back and like not fall into the hype because maybe it's just a hyped up product. Um, but I don't know. So I, I I'll tell you guys about it. Like it's like a, a drink that we drink and like you know make us better and blah blah blah. I don't want to get into it because I need to think of on um, if I really want to take it or not and then if I do then I'll share with you guys but then I'm like you know I'm trying to share with you guys about Kayani and I think that's one of the reasons why I'm like why am I taking all this other stuff because I'm supposed to just be taking Kayani but um yeah so anyhow I'm babbling bam, baffling baffling yeah that's the word babbling <laughs> Oh my gracious, I'm like having a bad day. Like not really a bad day, I'm having a crazy day. I think I haven't talked to you guys in forever and so it's like I, I love you guys so, so much. Like you guys honestly don't know how much I do truly love y'all. Like as far as like I love our conversations and I love the interaction which brings me to we have a new uh, chicka pie. Her name is Candy Candy. And um, so welcome Candy Candy. You guys join me in and telling Candy Candy, welcome to our channel. Like she's our, well I won't say she's my latest subscriber. I don't know if she is or not because I don't know like when she subscribed exactly. But she did message me and um, on one of my videos and she was saying that she was new to my channel. So welcome Candy Candy. Love having you here. Hope you be involved and hope you share my videos with your friends and other YouTubers that you may watch, you know, because uh, that would be the point, ladies. I want to make this channel grow. So definitely hope you're sharing and make sure you're liking my videos and commenting because that's how I know that you're liking what you see. But yeah, so um, I was excited to see that she was commenting. And you know what's just so sad? I When I tell you guys to comment and then I think about that I don't always comment myself like to other people's videos and I'm really trying to do better at that but sometimes I watch videos like when I'm at work and I'm working on a on like a project that I don't have to like I can kind of have a video running in the background over to the side I kind of glance my eye over there um, I'm not I'm really bad about like not commenting because I I think in my head oh I want to comment and then like life starts to happen and I never comment so I Need to slap myself on the hand because how can I ask you guys to do something for me that I don't do for other people so I have been trying very hard to do a little bit better at that like um, Sterling Silver Girl which is one of my followers um, she does Sensi and I have been I, I watch her videos but I would never comment on them and I'm, I feel so bad about that so I have been commenting <laughs> so that she knows that I'm watching because I feel like it's like the only way they know that you're really watching them is if you comment on them so like you know so I'm trying to be better at that so yeah so and if you guys aren't watching Sterling Silver Girl uh, feel free to you know pop on over to her channel and um, give her a look yet because she's an awesome awesome lady she does uh, fingernail tutorials like um, you know like different polish designs and things like that um, she does a lot of cute little videos um, she doesn't show her face which I remember when I found her at first I was kind of like I want to see her face like I and you know I mean cuz like you know me I'm a, like one of these super positive people I'm like girl show your face don't be scared and um, 
but she doesn't and, and I don't know whatever reason I've never had a conversation with her about it but I don't think there's any video that she shows her face I think all of her videos are just her speaking in the background if I'm not mistaken I, I mean I haven't seen all of her videos but all the ones that I know I've watched I haven't seen her face so I wish she would show her face because I think her face is on her her panel like you know like her like her you know what, what do you call it I, I don't know the proper name for it so I think her face is there um, and if you know she's beautiful <laughs> so but some people just you know maybe they are shy I don't know whatever you know I me mean? I don't have a shy bone in my body y'all I'll be blunt and crazy and you guys get to see me in all kinds of ways the hair all jacked up and everything else looking fat ugly whatever y'all get to see me y'all see you get what you get you know what I'm saying but anyway so yeah so here's my friend finally messaging me hello I mean calling Good morning. How are you this morning? Hey there, chicken pies. How we doing? How we feeling? So, I'm feeling a little bit better um, right now. Um, still not 100%, but I will say better than definitely better than I had been in the last couple of days had to go out and run some errands I'm not technically on lunch but um, I kind of like ate in the office and um, I needed to run to our payroll company and so and then pick up supplies for work I am so hot right now guys it was so nice to have that cool weather and now we have hot weather again I'm not feeling it I'm ready for the fall I got spoiled those few days of coolness yeah, so um, anyhow, okay, so I did this little beeline. I like to call it a beeline. Why do I call it a beeline? Like, what's the purpose of that? Hello? Uh huh. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm actually turning out of HEB right now, so I'm headed to the office. And I'm gonna leave this water in the car for you to get when you come back. Are you coming back to the office? Okay. Cause I'm like, I'm gonna let Louise take that water out. <laughs> leave it till tomorrow. Okay, that works. Cause that water is heavy. I'm like, dang. <laughs> okay, well I'll be back there in like, you know, like five minutes probably. I mean, I'm on, you know, I just, I came to, I went to the ATB. It's right here on Thousand Oaks, so. Okay. Alright. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. Okay. Yeah, so, um, I don't know why I call it a beeline. I, I guess because, you know, like, you, you go down one aisle and you hit all the aisles in between. B, I don't know. Why do I call it a beeline? But anyway, I went into, um, was, uh, Tuesday morning. And I saw this rug. It's the rug by itself is uh, $12.99. But guys, I think it's gonna look really cute with my bathroom. It's white. They did have a gray one, but I'm thinking like the gray is like too dark. Like um, I don't know. Like there's a part of me that kind of want to go back and get the gray to see what the, if the gray looks right. I know it doesn't match my gray in my curtain. But it might look cute. Oh man, I'm thinking now, y'all. I'm confused. I don't know what I should have done. Should I have gotten the gray? Maybe I could go get both and like switch it out, like have different rugs. That would be an idea. Like, is that insane? Like, just to like change it up a little bit. But then my, I did. I don't think it's gonna match the gray in the shower curtain well enough. Okay, I'm talking to myself, y'all. Forgive me. But anywho, I really really like the rug because it kind of looks like an old-fashioned rug and because it kind of goes with the old-fashionedness of what I want my bathroom to be like I'm feeling it okay <laughs> I'm totally feeling it like I'm just like oh man but I'm thinking now like because when I was in my apartment I had that same shower curtain and I had the darker gray rugs and it looked fine uh, Decisions, decisions, decisions. I don't know. So, uh, yeah. So anyhow, 
I don't know, gotta figure that one out in my head because like now I'm all like brains going and I'm thinking one thing and I don't know, I'm just confused. Confusion has set in on the brain. Ooh, that looks good. Y'all, I'm looking at my, my face in the camera. Not that my face look good, but like the light <laughs> looks good. Well, my face might not look too bad. Oh, speaking of face, let's talk about, today I have on the Marc Jacobs Gel Foundation. Is that what it's called? I think it's called Gel Foundation. Um, and I'm kind of liking it. Like, I kind of like Marc Jacobs, period. Like, their foundations are, like, the bomb, diddy dot bomb com. <laughs> the bomb dot com. They really are. They're so good. Like, um, like, of course, you guys know I love the Remarkable. But that was the first one I'd ever tried. So, like, I'm thinking that was Remarkable. <laughs> no pun intended. But, um, I like it. I mean, I like the gel one I like the mousse one like I mean I just been like in the heat literally like putting in um, what you call it waters and stuff in my car and like I don't I mean like I, I when I say I don't sweat like I'll get a little dewy now don't get me wrong I'll get a little dewy I'll feel like a little wetness on my back you know um, my buttocks if I'm out trying to do some walking in the um, in the heat like right now, like when my glasses hit my face set, that little spot right there is like wet. But I don't like drip of sweat. And I feel like I'm still looking darn near good. I'm looking part near good, y'all. Part near good. I'm not even complaining. Bags falling everywhere. So I'm in the office by myself because that was one of the guys at work. He had to go to MJ Boyle, which is one of our vendors or contractors or whatever you want to call it. So anyway, let me show y'all this rug real quick like yo. And then the only thing is this rug does have a little, like it looks like somebody put their dirty footprint on it. It's white, so it's probably telling me I don't need the Van Gogh thing because, you know, I might go back and get the gray and then I'll have, like, well, I can change it out just to have, like, a different look every now and then, like, you know? But look, y'all, if you, when I show y'all my shower curtain, my shower curtain is cotton like this and it looks like ruffly, like, but the ruffles are, like, on the front of the line of the curtain. I don't know how to describe it, but, like, I, I think this is going to look really cute with it. <sighs> decisions, decisions, decisions. So that's basically the whole rug. I mean, it's not like I'm, you know, and I really, really like it. And it was $12.99. So I might bring the other one back and return it. The one that I have. I don't know. We'll see. So anyhow, oh, I'm hot. I need to get out of here, out of this car and get in here because I feel like I'm about to burn up. Let me see. Ooh. Yeah. Ugh. All right, I will catch up with you guys a little bit later.